The Pacific Northwest Kiwanis History Series is presented by District Historian Patrick Ewing. Even before there were women members, there have been extraordinary women associated with Kiwanis. George Lovejoy of Portland, Oregon, chaired the 1920 International Convention and was elected to the position of third vice president, our only international officer who had not previously been a governor. His wife, Esther Lovejoy, though, was the one who stands out in history. She was just the second woman who graduated from the University of Oregon's medical school. She founded an international organization of women doctors. She founded a suffrage league and in 1919, she ran for Congress. The first woman to legally join Kiwanis is arguably Julie Fletcher. While she and other women had joined their local Kiwanis clubs, the international organization would not recognize their memberships. Her club challenged the organization in court and in 1986 won a victory on behalf of all women in New Jersey. Bobby Godwin, whose theme was Walk the Talk, was the first woman to serve as our district's governor, with Ted, our district's first dude. The first woman to serve as international trustee was Lisa McCoy of Texas. She is now an active Kiwanian in Bellingham, Washington. Jane Erickson of Nebraska was the first woman to serve as president of the Kiwanis International Foundation, now the Kiwanis Children's Fund. She was also the first foundation president to subsequently become president of Kiwanis International. Our final entry is Sue Peterson, the first woman to serve as president of Kiwanis International. Sue was a former counselor to our district, and she was also the first person ever to achieve a governor hat trick, having served as governor of Key Club, Circle K, and Kiwanis. Visit KiwanisHistory.com for more information and free resources.